uh, Google terror drills, nuclear drill practice in Los Angeles and Indiana just the last few days. So they're gearing up, but we will win, Alex. And I'm so passionate. I'm 31 years old. I have, I'm working on my second and third degree in college, and I do not. my voice is quivering right now because I do not want to lose America by the time I'm ready to just jump in it with both feet. And for those of you out there who thought the future looked grim, Rand Paul's battle was one that we won. And, and this war that we have against good Americans on truth and sovereignty, this is going to continue against us. And everybody out there should be just raging. The blood needs to rage turbulently through your American veins, pounding within your muscles and flesh. And I agree, Eric, and people need to realize we're not going to win overnight. We're not going to win in a year. We're not going to win in five years. It is that total commitment, realizing we're not going to stop. But it's not just the Rand Paul victory in this key primary. It's in every primary, whoever the incumbent is, is losing every time. And J.D. Hayworth is going to, he's not perfect, but he's an angel uh, compared to John McCain, and he's gone from 20 points behind to being even with him two weeks ago to now in almost every poll being four points ahead of him. And by the time they have, wh what's the date, August uh, 23rd, uh, 24th, uh, by that Republican primary date, I predict, unless there's a major election fraud, and Arizona's bad about it, that John stinking McCain is going down just like Specter. Ooh, rah! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, baby! Yeah, taking scalps! All right, I appreciate your call. Hey, back this up. I want to play a clip of Ben Hur. They found it. This is us, ladies and gentlemen. Attack speed, you know, ramming speed. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, look, let's go, let's go. Crank it up. right now. This is the 2007-2008. Attack the speed. Attack the speed. We're at attack speed right now. Now we're going to ramming. Look at the Info Warriors. <laughs> That's how we're going to get off this ship, is defeating the enemy. Ramming speed! Ramming speed. Remember old Charlton Heston, got to interview him. Talked to him off air a few times, too. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, with the next hour. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee Where they make blue diamond gusset jeans They so pride in every stitch Guarantee you love the way they fit They put a diamond gusset in the crotch Where you need it most Blue diamond gussets got it don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. 
Government cover-ups. Attack speed. Want answers? Well, so does he. Ramming He's speed. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We are going in, through, and beyond. We are going to defeat the new world order. He just joined us, incumbent and establishment candidates in the Republican and Democratic Party in every case are losing their nominations for their party. Not just Rand Paul smashing the neocon by 33 points on top of the victory number, blowing him out of the water. Republican Senator Robert Bennett imploding. McCain, he's not going to win if there's a real election. He's now behind. This is exciting. Specter gone. Arlen Specter gone. Hallelujah. There is a God. James in Ohio, you're on the air. Welcome. James, we need to get you up to ramming speed here, buddy. I let him go because uh, James wasn't even uh, there pulling at the horse. R Ronnie in Texas. Ronnie, go ahead. Hallelu Hallelujah, sir. I so totally agree with you. And ditto the previous callers rejoicing. There's evidence here. Now, we will continue to win back the Republic, but... The work just starts here man, over the big party Republican war party scum. But, uh, you know, Dr. Rand Paul's victory was a huge victory, but it's not unrelated to the meltdown, the criminal political meltdown of longtime trader Arlen Miracle Bullet Specter, who, as you know, uh, not only dreamt up the farcical Miracle Bullet theory to explain away the hogwash about Oswald, the so called lone gunman in the JFK assassination, but he was also personally hijacked the conviction and elimination of former president, still predator, slick, truly evil clinch trader, thereby gifting us all with Ms. Felony Hogwash clinch traders, political, continued <laughs> political presence on the world. So Specter's guilty of a whole lot, and his meltdown is a key Zionist stooge with the today rise of Dr. Rand Paul only bodes well for the future of our constitutional republic, in my humble opinion, sir. Ronnie, I appreciate your call. Let's talk to Chris in Kentucky where Rand Paul smashed the enemy. Go ahead, Chris. No, he certainly did. And this is, it was just a really a lot of exciting people out here. Um, you in the Sunday Courier Journal, they had, there's a little paragraph, an attack ad on you. No, they're running attack ad TV ads against Rand Paul because he comes on this show. And then some of the neocons that are trying to infiltrate are like, oh, don't be involved with Alex Jones. The Pauls aren't stupid. They know when the system attacks them of being kook conspiracy theorists, that only makes them more popular. When the media attacks somebody, the public knows they're good. It doesn't work anymore. No, it isn't going to work anymore. And then when they see your name on here and a lot of people have never heard of you, there's going to probably go, you're going to get some hits now. They want to know the truth. People, We are you know, getting like a yes. couple hits. Yeah, we are getting a few visitors. That's good because uh, we it have was to like going. two million. It was like two million visitors a week. Now it's a million a day. So I, yeah, the sites are growing. Oh, that's that's incredible. And you know, like the Kansas caller said, we we still have to keep there. There's hope, but there's still a lot of work to do. We still have to get these films out. I'm still burning copies of the Obama. Still a lot of work to do. We're, we're not even winning the war yet. We've won some battles, but they won so many battles before we got in the fight. But what we've learned is every time we fight, we win. It, resistance is victory. The spirit of resistance with liberty animating it is invincible. Now, the globalists are mad, though. They're going to wreck the economy faster. They're going to steal everything. Even if we kick them out, they'd probably set off some nukes as they left. I mean, they're very upset. So this isn't going to be fun. You know, it's like when you break your leg and a bone sticking out the side. You got to go in and get surgery, and it it it, it feels bad, but at least you know you, you save your leg. Uh, and so it's not going to be fun, ladies and gentlemen. But we're going to win, 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 and our great grandchildren are going to remember when we've got moon bases and Mars bases and our first, uh, you know, uh, uh, off-world uh, craft reach. Andromeda, we're going to remember this time when humanity stood up on its hind legs. We're going to remember how we defeated the eugenicists who hate their fellow man, and when those that love humankind and understand the destiny of this species took back humanity and pointed it towards the stars. We shall return on the other side of this quick break. Stay with us. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. 
tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be...